Back in the early 2000s on YouTube, originality was flourishing. Original works of art like Charlie the Unicorn, Nyan Cat, and many others were some of the most memorable from that era of YouTube. While on the surface, most of us saw them as dumb videos on this new thing called the internet, what YouTube had now turned into an Ouroboros in a sense where, oh, what does this person think about this? Oh, this person did this, so cancel them. Uh oh, a YouTuber I used to watch is now a problematic person? Whenever I consider switching what I do to be more original, what stops me every time is that this channel has never been about me. It's been the things that have interested me that I love to share with others, yet when I look at what others do, I think that's really cool and I wish I could do something similar that was truly my own. Something that I created with my own two hands. Honestly, I don't think my life is interesting, yet I have those moments where other people's lives interest me. It's a real paradoxical loop I find myself in. Seeing people like these YouTubers make games and seeing these other YouTubers make music, it's been really interesting to see so many YouTubers branch out into different avenues of creativity. Also, Banksy has been making a lot more art. However, there has been one YouTuber that has really done something that is very difficult to pull off. His own quote unquote fake ARG thanks to a video game company. I was in a server for about two weeks trying to help decode a cipher and my work was apparently seen by the guy who had disappeared which started this whole ARG. Then there's Champutee, a person whose content is about him but it's interesting to watch because it is a different perspective you don't see every day. At the end of the day it would be nice for me to be, well, me, but in a landscape like YouTube. It's very rare for someone to make something that is actually original. It's possible, it's just really difficult. In the words of the most famous poet on planet Earth, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Maybe I'm just overthinking, like I tend to do. Maybe I should just continue what I'm doing despite how I feel. Originality is dead on YouTube. And I helped kill it. Here's the problem though. I love talking about independent art. So I always justified it by saying, oh, well, I'm helping these people. But am I really? Has anyone actually gone and supported these people who I've made videos about? For the most part, I honestly don't know. All right, now is the point of the video where I actually wanted it to be about this, but I knew that I had a lot more to say regarding YouTube as a whole. The definition of originality is the ability to think independently and creatively, or the quality of being novel or unusual. Am I any of these? Well, let's break down the definitions. Independent. There are many definitions depending on the context, but in the context of attempting to make art on YouTube, these are the definitions that make the most sense with this specific context. Not depending on another for livelihood or substance. Not influenced or affected by others. Impartial. Okay, well according to the first definition, considering my channel is about independent artists, ironically by this definition, it's not independent, meaning it's not original by that definition. The second definition is a little bit trickier because everyone is influenced by something in their lives. That's where the process of making art starts. But then technically, art isn't original. Yet to some, it still has this high pedestal. Me, I, I am the someone. The more you take into the account the term original, the more convoluted of a concept this whole thing becomes. Well, yes, I do think independently. I don't actually think independently apparently all right so if my videos aren't original because they aren't independent are they original based on creativity the use of imagination or original ideas especially in the production of an artistic work wait so now we're back to the term original oh no the term original is its own ouroboros listen i love etymology however my head is starting to hurt yes it is technically creative because i do be imagining in my head video topics and thank god for the heavy lifting of the or there because otherwise i would technically not be creative yes my videos are a production if you technically count it as a movie that plays on tv for some reason and since youtube can be on a tv and youtube tv is literally a thing I guess technically it counts. Are my videos novel, new, or unusual in an interesting way? I definitely try to be novel with my topics, however, again, they are topics about people who make stuff, and those people and stuff already exist, so not new. Unusual? Yes. Interesting? I mean, 
technically, I guess, but to like a hundred, sometimes a thousand people. So we'll put that in yellow. Now unusual is another factor. Not habitually or commonly occurring or done. Well, my upload schedule is technically unusual, I can tell you that. Remarkable or interesting because different from or better than others. I do make videos on people who do unique things, so yes. So. Am I original? Well, the videos are not independent. They are creative. They are novel to a small audience, but they are not new. And they can be interesting, but like not to everybody. But they are definitely unusual. So to novel, yes and no, <sighs> but they are most definitely unusual. So quite literally, yes and no. Personally, I don't think I'm original, but I want to be. And thanks to this, I know that I'm not original. Well, this video became its own Ouroboros that I was not expecting. So now it's time for an emotional conclusion. When I was 11, I went to my cousin's house, AKA my grandparents' basement. In that basement was an Xbox 360. And one of those games was Halo Reach. Naturally, this was before I got my own Xbox. So when I finally did, the name Master Eve popped into my head. A combination of Master Chief from Halo and Ethan, my name. Naturally, as time progressed, as well as the internet, that name meant less and less to me. And no matter how much I justified it, thanks to the term ETH, my name now has an association with crypto, which is ironic because I honestly hate crypto. Not even my username is original. Bottom of the line, Halo Reach had a forge mode where we made all sorts of custom maps, some form of originality. And the older I got, the less original I've become. I wanna take that spark back and truly try to be original in this YouTube space once again. It was that way in the beginning when I was just making fun little silly YouTube videos. But once I made a video about Batman Piter Man and then Hive Swap, well, that's when everything changed. I was genuinely rewarded for my lack of originality. And I don't think that is a good place to be mentally. For the past week, I've really been conflicted about what I want my channel to be. I was literally working on a brand new documentary um, that's not even out yet. And I had this epiphany of like, I'm not even involved in this project. I'm literally just taking a bunch of clips and putting them together. And it's like, oh, I'll just do some narration, make like a Dodford type documentary. But then I was like, what's the point of this? I'm just taking somebody else's work and calling it my own and to that that is really in my opinion something i realized that i don't really want to be a part of anymore i want to create art and talking about other people's projects to me at least does not really seem like art it seems like appreciating art and you can appreciate art but I think I've gotten to a point creatively where I want to challenge myself more and I want to actually do something that is artistic. I don't know what that is yet, but I've just had this like weird feeling within me that I just like need to do something else. And I don't know what that is. Uh, I wasn't even planning on making this video, but I've just been stuck in my head for so long. And it's been challenging to come to the terms that like, I really want to do something different, but I just don't know what that is yet. And the thing is, right, I'm not quitting. I'm never gonna quit being creative, right? But there definitely needs to be a change and I don't know what that change is exactly quite yet. All I know is I, I just wanna be more original on my platform. I've done the same thing for years on end and I feel like it, it's, it's time to change once again.